his new plan was to buy up as many of Tyndale's New Testaments as he possibly could and then burn them publicly in London. He gave this job to Augustine Packington. But little did he know that Packington was a great admirer of Tyndale's work. William, I know that you are a poor man and that you have many New Testaments for sale. You have endangered yourself and your friends for these and have given all of your money for this cause. I have found a merchant who is willing to buy all of these New Testaments. That way you can get rid of all your Testaments and earn some money as well. Who is this merchant? The Bishop of London, William. But he'll burn them! Yes. It's good. I will get the money I need to get myself out of debt, and then the whole world will cry out to the burning of God's word. And then with the money I receive, I'll be able to write a better version of the New Testament. The King of England, Henry VIII, reinstated him. It was at a cost, as Latimer agreed to 14 Roman Catholic doctrines that were against God's word. But, as we will see, this bad mistake led to a lion-like boldness. The king asked Latimer to preach to him on the Lord's Day. First, he presented him with a Bible, open at Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. And then he preached his sermon, refusing to hold back on preaching against Henry's adultery. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. For God shall judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. The big day finally arrived, and slowly Latimer climbed the steps of the pulpit to deliver his sermon. Hugh Latimer, do you know who you are speaking to today? You are speaking to the high and mighty monarch, the king's most excellent majesty, who could take away thy life if you offend him in any way. So take care as to not displease him. Had he bottled it? Had the adulterous king won the day? Latimer continued. But consider now, Hugh, who sent you and whose message you bring the great and mighty God. He is the one who sent you and whose presence now we all stand in. And he has the power to send you to hell. Therefore, you take care to deliver the message that I preached last week. Marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure. For God shall judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Astounded by Latimer's bravery, Henry VIII said, Blessed be God, I have so honest a servant. <laughs>